When the XPS 13 first launched, it was easily the best 13-inch laptop on the market. Times changed though, especially as developers and manufacturers raced out for their machines with the latest and greatest hardware, and Apple's actually just recently launched the latest in its lineup, the new MacBook. Not only is this new laptop the thinnest MacBook Apple's ever produced, but the 12-inch machine comes equipped with a Retina display, all-day battery life, and a host of updated hardware. With that said, in this video I'm actually going to be comparing the Dell XPS 13 and the new MacBook side by side, so let's go ahead and get started. So Apple's upcoming MacBook is actually a very different beast than the Dell XPS 13. While the XPS 13 is a simple i5 processor, the base model of Apple's MacBook comes refitted with a 1.1GHz dual-core Intel M CPU. Now this fanless Core M design requires a mere 45 watts of juice to operate, and that actually enables the MacBook's thin design. Now the i5 processor in the XPS is essentially an industry standard at this point, and it definitely ought to showcase quicker performance than anything in the Core M series. With that said though, the new MacBook is definitely on par with the XPS in terms of memory. Both machines offer 8GB of DDR3 RAM, and Apple also provides twice the storage space for the same retail price. But the advantage shifts back to the XPS when it comes to gaming. Both systems tout Intel HD graphics, but the MacBook is a slower HD 5300 version, which definitely can't keep up with Dell. Macs also tend to suffer slower game performance because developers optimize the more popular PC platform, although that isn't always the case. The most notable update to the new MacBook is its new Retina display, although with that said it actually only offers a 2304 by 1440 resolution. A comparable model of the XPS 13 touts a 13.3 inch touchscreen, and a pixel resolution of 3200 by 1800 Whether this is a win depends on who you ask, but from now now it seems like these laptops are very evenly matched when it comes to pixel density. Now Apple definitely takes the lead over Dell when it comes to design. The newly designed MacBook is actually a really amazing PC to look at, outfitted with a redesigned trackpad and a keyboard that spans the width of the display. The keys are individually backlit for the utmost precision, while the new trackpad makes use of a taptic engine and a force click feature that lets you perform additional actions with a more forceful click. The edge-to-edge -edge glass on the MacBook is a nice touch too, as is the barely thin bezel on the XPS. Other differences are more subtle, such as the placement of the webcam and ports, or in the case of the MacBook, port singular, but on the whole, Apple's design is sleeker and more elegant, while the Dell screen is what makes the laptop shine. Now, when it comes to availability, the higher-end Dell XPS 13 is identical to Apple's MacBook in terms of price, and they both start at $1,300. However, although the baseline price of the new MacBook start at $1,300, Dell does offer multiple configurations of the XPS 13, starting at a mere $800. Those models do have a 1080p display and a slower processor, but they're still great deals nonetheless. Overall, the XPS 13 is set to perform better in almost every category. The processor is thicker, the display and webcam are more capable, and it remains lined with a slew of ports that Apple has decided to streamline into a single connection. The MacBook isn't a bad machine per se, but it's just kind of underwhelming when you compare it to the higher end XPS 13. But give me your opinions on which of these laptops you prefer in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.